What's up guys? Today we'll be going over our boy Ash. But before we get into the guide, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you're aware of when I drop a video. I finally have the community tab open as a way to get to know you guys more. So if you guys ever see a post, be sure to check it out so I can answer any of you guys' questions. But with that being said, let's check out the ultimate ninja warframe Ash. Ash is a fast, maneuverable warframe that possesses a high degree of survivability in the field. Fleet movement complements deadly tools of assassination, making Ash a perfect balance between killing potency and stealth. Ash's main blueprint can be purchased from the market, while his components are obtained from Venus Proxima for the systems, the Neptune Proxima for the Neuroptics, and the Pluto Proxima for the chassis, all in rotation C of defense and survival missions. On a side note, Ash was originally named Smoke, and before that, simply Ninja. Ash was also originally intended to be a female, but was later changed in development. I would recommend taking an Ash on a mission in the realms of extermination, spy, capture, or even sabotage missions. Using weapons with slash proc would complement this Warframe's passive, in which you receive a 50% longer bleeding status um, using weapons with high slash. Starting with Ash's first move, Shuriken. This move launches a spinning blade of pain, dealing high damage and impelling enemies to the walls. Higher ability strength mods will increase his damage. Um, the shurikens can also seek out the security cameras for you, in case you're trying to run a mission and you don't want to get hit with the doors that drains your energy. Ash's second ability is called Smoke Screen. So Ash will drop a smoke bomb that stuns enemies and obscures their vision, rendering Ash invisible for a short time. Range would impact how many enemies are blinded, while duration decides how long you stay invisible. This move can also make your companions invisible, and allows your other moves to cost less. Ash's next ability is Teleport. You can teleport towards the enemy, bringing him into a melee range, and making enemies vulnerable to finishers. Not only do you take uh, no damage while teleporting, you can also teleport to other subjects like allies or the excavation drillers. The final ability that our boy Ash can do is considered his ultimate, Blade Storm. This move allows you to project fierce shadow clones of Ash upon groups of distant enemies. It behaves similar, similar to the Sharingan in which you must see as many enemies as you can and re-trigger it to send out the shadow clones. High range and damage can turn this move into something very broken. Alright, so now we're ready to use our Bora Ash in, a, in an actual mission. So I'm going with a high range and I would say duration or damage uh, Ash so that my ultimate can seek out a lot of enemies far away and I can just take them out quickly. Um, you know, he's really good for spy missions because of that smoke screen and his switch teleport move. Or not switch teleport, but regular teleport move. If you guys are unaware of what a spy mission is, is basically you have three objectives to get to and um, each objective has like a hacking council that you must dodge the lasers to get to. So you have to only beat two out of the three. So if we fell one, we're chilling. But if we fell two, then you know we fell the mission. But um, it only matters if you're detected when you're in the hacking phase. So all of these enemies right here, you can just skip them, you know. If they cause you too much of a problem, you can go ahead and take them out, just like, uh, as long as they don't kill you. So, like, this dude, thank you. Alright. So now we're, uh, in Ash's invisible smoke bomb move. We can just sneak up, you know, get past their, uh, security cameras. Alright. Now, I believe this is, yep. This is where they have the flying Eidolon. I forgot his real name, but he's uh, probably one of the last missions you have to do. In a lot, um, one of the last missions you have to do to unlock the steel path. Fuck it. Yeah, it's alright. I already knew. See, this is where his teleport move kind of sucks, because there's no target. Um, if there was a target beyond the lasers, I would be able to switch with them, and then it would have been good. But, you know, I can, I can hack it in time. So we got our first one down. Let's go. You no no witnesses, you know. All right, we're chilling. We, we made it past. They thought they can break 
and barricade themselves away from an Ash. This is actually Ash Prime, so regular Ash will look different than this, but everyone's Ash, you know, looks different. Alright. We made it to the top, yep. Now there's this hole that you gotta drop down and not touch the, the green lasers. Um, his green smoke, or his smoke move does not allow him to pass through these lasers. Oh, but probably the orange ones that detect you before you, uh... If anything, I would just use my operator to get through the green lasers because uh, your operator can't get detected by these. But because this is easy, you know, I don't need to use my operator. We chilling. All right, let's go ahead and pack this. All right, now we have one more. We can legit just, you know, fuck up on the last one. All right, we got a dude right here. Let's mark him. Let's mark these two. So there's a number filling up. If I go ahead and re-click it, you see that number going down, that means they all died. There's not really like an order, like A doesn't mean it's the easiest one or the hardest one, it's just random. So we're going to go ahead and solve this one. And that would be the conclusion to this spy mission. So Ash, as you can see, is a very helpful Warframe to use when it comes to missions like this. Um, he might not be the best, but... That can be argued, you know, depending on how you set up your your mods and uh, what type of builds you make. That would be the end of today's video going over Ash. Ash is a very stealthy Warframe, but can be a glass cannon if you want him to. But he is very good and, um, you know, enemies can't really detect them that easily. So I would recommend you picking up yourself an Ash. If you're confused on anything I said in the video, be sure to type down any questions that you have. In the comments below and i'll be sure to answer them as fast as i can but ash is uh ash is really nice i like using him a lot i use him a lot for riven missions um unlocking my riven mods but yeah ash is a definitely must any warframe in this game is actually a must but that'll be it for today's video if you guys are new uh be sure to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video where we'll be going over more warframes if you guys also need help, I'll be going live here and there. So if you guys want to join in, um, just send me your username and I'll send you an invite to the squad so we can go ahead and help out with any missions that you have. Um, thank you guys for watching the video and clicking on it. Um, I appreciate you guys' time and I just hope I can help you guys get a more understanding of the game as well as help you guys get stronger You know, as we both move forward. But you guys be safe out there. I'll see you guys later and peace.